everyone and welcome to the channel. So, in this video I'm going to show you how to unlock the Rachel Roth skin for the uh, Rebirth Raven skin. This is the, uh, like the casual variety of the skin. One of the most beautiful skins out there. Really, really well made. And this is the last skin for the DC series. Before we go to the Neymar skins, which are still, unlo still, uh, still not unlocked. So they will be available in 20 days. But before that, in order to unlock this beautiful skin right here, all you need to do is reach level 77. That's, uh, that's the first requirement. The second requirement is for you to do 70 epic quests. And the epic quests are the purple card quests that you get every week. So these uh, quests are here that have a purple card to them. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the first uh, 28 epic quests that you need to do in order to reach the milestone needed to unlock this beautiful skin right here. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. So for the next epic quest of uh, week one, it says that you have to hunt five wildlife. So you have to hunt five. There it is, hunt, hunt wildlife. To hunt wildlife, all you need is a weapon and a spot where wildlife spawns. So we're gonna go over here. This is where I am right now. This spot has a lot of wildlife. And wildlife is basically uh, boars or... Um, uh, or uh, wolves. So we're just gonna look around a little bit. And once you find them, all you have to do is just hunt them, hunt them down. Which is a little bit barbaric, but you know. Let's go that way. So you can come here, or you can uh, also go to Weeping Woods. That also has wildlife in it. Do these frog counts? There it is. <laughs> Easy as that. And you get a stink sack. Alright. So even frogs count, as you can see. Wildlife is all around us. <laughs> so if you see an animal, just grab a weapon and shoot at him. Or you need to hunt five of them and that should complete the challenge. Hey guys, so for the next epic quest of week one, all you have to do is just find golden artifacts, three of them, near the spire. The spire is the center zone, right here, the center POI. This is called the spire, where the uh, zero point bloomed. And the three uh, artifacts are uh, super hard to find because they are super little and super golden. But bear with it, we're gonna find them. I already have a hint on all three of them, where they are. Okay, so if you follow the stairs, There it is, this is one. So the first one is gonna be at the top of the S letter. If you look on the top right of the map, I am standing on the top of the S letter, the spire. So that's one. Let's grab a weapon just in case. The next one should be inside one of these houses. So you will find a glowing blue light when you're close. Ah, here we are. So that's the second one. And the third one is going to be at the bottom of the P letter. If you look on the uh, on the map, we're going to go to the P part. I had to look them for them really carefully and like mark their spots. Oh, actually I was wrong. Here's another one. It's at the bottom of the S. So apparently there's uh, a lot more than three. So this should be easy enough to do. Just keep looking around the spire and you will find all three. As you can see, it's pretty easy to do. So yeah, that's all you have to do, and that should complete the quest. Hey guys, so for the next epic quest of uh, week one, season six, all you have to do is just talk to three characters. So that's pretty easy. Just find yourself an NPC and go talk to them. So I'm going to show you three spots where I found three NPCs consistently. The first spot is going to be right here, near Gorgeous Gorge. So this is Gorgeous Gorge, and right here you will find the first NPC. Just talk to them. All right, now we're gonna look for two other NPCs. You can find another NPC right here. This is gonna be the second NPC right near the spot where we were at Lazy Lake, right at this spot. Let's go talk to him. This is my first time talking to this NPC. So we're gonna find out who he is. Oh, it's a uh, cabbie. 
All right, very cool. Reveal nearby characters. That's uh, that's useful. So the next character, so the third and last NPC is gonna be right here at this spot. Let me ping it. Here we are at this little island. So come here and you will find Turk hanging out. We can get a fishing rod from him. So, uh, basically, the best way to do this is to grab a car and follow the road, and you will find a bunch of NPCs uh, all around the road. Uh, for now, we, all, we don't know all where all the NPCs are. As you can see, I've only unlocked a couple of them. But once I do, I will make a video on this and will tell you all 46 spots where you can find every, uh, uh, every single one of these NPCs. So yeah, as for this quest, all you have to do is just find three. As I said, just go to Lazy Lake, Gorgeous Gorge, take a car, uh, drive around and you will find a couple more and that should complete the challenge. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So for this epic quest all you have to do is just uh, collect mechanical parts from vehicles, trailers, buses or tractors. So to do this I recommend coming to compact cars right here because it has a lot of these uh, uh, junk uh, uh, junk cars that you can destroy. First I saw somebody there so we're gonna have to do, get a weapon. Alright, so, to do this, all you have to do is just, oh, I cannot destroy that, is destroy, like, left uh, RVs, or cars, and you will get these mechanical parts, right here, as you can see, just collect them, and in total you need five, so we're gonna try to get our five, that's two, That's three. That's four. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're not gonna fight that guy. We might as well finish our uh, our thingy right here. So let's go destroy uh, that trailer over there. We don't need to take any unnecessary fights. We are here to guide people through these uh, quests. Let's go destroy this RV and see if it gives us a mechanical part. If it doesn't, we'll go to the to a tractor up there. All right, nice, it did. And that's mechanical part number five, and there it is. 24,000 XP, easy peasy. That's all you have to do to complete this quest. Hey guys, so <clears throat> for this uh, epic quest, all you have to do is just craft a hunter's cloak. And to do that, all you need to do is just uh, hunt down some animals, some boars, some wolves. You can find them anywhere, practically uh, practically everywhere, but you can find a lot of them in Weeping Woods. So if I uh, kill this boar right here, he will give me a couple of stuff, animal bones and meat. And when I collect that, let me just go to... Alright, now go to item, go craft, go click on this bow, and as you can see, you can craft the hunter's cloak. All you need is two animal bows and two uh, meat. So craft. And that gives you this right here. This is the hunter's cloak. And you can just take it. And you can equip it, just click on it, and it will become your back blade. As you can see, pretty dope, right? So yeah, that's the quest, that's how we do it. Hey guys, so for this epic quest, it says that you have to craft primal weapons using bones and makeshift weapons. So basically a makeshift weapon is a gray weapon, as you can see from my shotgun. This one right here is a makeshift weapon. And we're gonna upgrade it to a primal, uh, to a pri to a primal uh, shotgun by going to crafting. And as you can see, it becomes this, this variety right here. And to do that, all you need is one gray shotgun and four animal bones. You get animal bones by killing animals everywhere, wolves, boars, uh, whatever. You will find them everywhere. I basically found these in uh, Weeping Woods right here. I killed them here. So just go to inventory, go uh, click on uh, the makeshift weapon and go to crafting and then click craft. 
and you will transform it into a primal weapon. As you can see, there it is. So yeah, that's all you have to do, and that should complete the quest. Hey guys, so for the next epic quest <clears throat> for this season, it says that you have to create a mechanical weapon using mechanical parts and a makeshift weapon. So what you need is one makeshift weapon and uh, five mechanical parts. So I recommend coming here to Risky Reels because there are a bunch of RVs that you can destroy and get all the mechanical weapons that you need. So let's grab our weapon and farm our mechanical parts. Let's see, do we have any contenders here? No? Okay. Right? That's not a makeshift weapon. That's a mechanical part right there. We need, um, we need a few more. Okay. So this is how you know how many uh, me uh, makeshift, uh, not me mechanical parts you have. So we have two. We need five. That's three. Oh man, I need a makeshift weapon. <laughs> hey, that's not a problem. The most important thing is that, that we get uh, the mechanical parts that we need. This is what it looks like. Like a mechanical part. Let's see. We need a makeshift weapon. Makeshift weapon. Okay, I see. Uh, I see a thingy over there. Okay, makeshift submachine gun. All right. Let's see what we have. So go to that. Go to crafting. Oh, oh we need four. So as you can see, uh, that's it, right? Yeah. So make a uh, mechanical weapon from a uh, makeshift weapon and four mechanical parts. As you can see, just click on the submachine gun. And as you can see, we need four. And the submachine gun itself, just click craft. And you will turn it into a mechanical weapon, which is the blue SMG. There it is on the top left. That, uh, that was the announcement. So yeah, that's all you have to do. And that should complete the challenge. I highly recommend this spot. As you can see, it has everything you need. And you can complete the challenge really quick. So today we're doing this uh, new epic quest, which is to ride five zip lines. Where is, where is it? There it is. Right, different zip lines. We need to write five. So to do this, I recommend going to the spire in the middle of the map. That's where we find our zip lines. Or you can go to the zip lines between retail, dirty, and steamy. So we're gonna do it over here. I recommend doing this in uh, team rumble mode because not many people will bother you. Let's grab this. All right, first zip line. Second zip line. And then we try to redeploy into this zip line. Number three. And then this one. Number four. And then the next one. Let's do this one. Number five. And there it is. Easy peasy. As I said, I recommend coming here to this spire all the way over here. And you can do this uh, quest real quick. Hey guys, so to make a mechanical bow, all you need is a, a basic bow right here. Which is the one that we have over here on the right. The makeshift bow. And then you make yourself to the, uh, you make your way to the uh, Risky Reels location. Where there, are, where there are a bunch of RVs that you can destroy and you can get mechanical parts from. Because to make a uh, mecha mechanical bow, you need mechanical parts and a bow. Of course, you can get mechanical parts from uh, RVs. Oh, oh, that's lucky. <laughs> we got an instant mechanical bow. Okay, we're gonna keep going just to show you how to craft. So you can get mechanical parts from RVs, trucks, buses, and even cars, even stationary cars like this one. Just keep whacking at it. And you should get 
the part. There it is. We got one. We got two. Oh, another one. Damn, we're getting super lucky. Okay, let's see if we have enough. Let's get inside here so we don't get killed. Crafting. There it is. So we're gonna make uh, this uh, normal bow, the makeshift bow, into a mechanical bow. I'm gonna craft. That's a mechanical bow. So, in order to make a, uh, an explosive bow, all you need is a mechanical bow, which is this bow right here, one of these bows, and six grenades. So we're gonna go to crafting, and as you can see, you can make a mechanical explosive bow using these ones, just one mechanical bow, and six grenades. Craft. And there it is. We got ourselves an explosive bow. Super dope. So, in order to make a uh, mechanical uh, shockwave bow, all you need is a mechanical bow, like this one right here, and two shockwave grenades. So, as you can see, mechanical shockwave bow, just a mechanical bow, and two shockwave grenades. Just click craft, and you will make the bow. And there it is. All done. Hey guys, so for this epic quest, in order to tame a boar, first you need uh, these items. So you need to kill a couple of uh, wild animals to acquire these wild, uh, these, uh, this meat. And then go into crafting and you need uh, two bones and one meat in order to craft the hunter's cloak. So you need to craft that. And then you have to wear it. So go to the hunter cloak and wear it. And uh, for example, we can test it with these wolves. As you can see, they will not attack us because of the Hunter Cloak. And I can even tame them. You can do this with uh, with boars as well. So this wolf right here is tamed and he was going to attack the other wolves. So yeah, that's uh, the basic idea. Now all you have to do is just find yourself a boar. Uh, which are not very rare, but uh, sometimes you just get unlucky. So just wear this cloak, uh, the one I'm wearing right now. And find a boar and just come close to it and just click tame and you will have tamed that boar. Hey guys, so we're doing this uh, epic quest right here. Obtain literature literature samples from Pleasant Park, Lazy Lake or Retail Row. So we're gonna go to Pleasant Park right here. And the idea is to uh, uh, interact with the bookshelves. But there are only a few that you can interact with. So the first one is gonna be this blue house right here under me. So it's good. there's going to be two at uh, Pleasant Park, and we're going to go, we're going to do two uh, two more at Lazy Lake. Let's start with this one. Just go inside, and this is the bookshelf. Interact, and we Gucci, and then we leave before the other guy starts tryharding for no reason. Then we go to that house over there. The second house is going to be that one over there, in the corner. Just go inside, and there should be another bookshelf to the left. There it is. Hello. Okay, that's two. Now we go to Lazy Lake. So here we are at Lazy Lake, which is located right here. So the first spot is going to be the gas station. So just make your way over to the gas station over here. Let's make sure we grab this weapon. Grab this one as well. I don't want anybody to interrupt us. And where's the it? There it is. This one. Just interact. That's our third literature. And then you go to that house, which already has someone on top of it, so we have to be stealthy. Just go downstairs and here we are this is the last one and that's it that's all you have to do for literatures completed hey guys so for this epic quest it says that you have to deal damage with mechanical weapons so it can be any mechanical weapon for example we have our mechanical smg here which we just upgraded and all you have to do is just deal damage so we're gonna find somebody who is stupid enough to fight us ah here we go Pick 
scout. Ah, well, as you can see, it adds up. So just keep the little damage, just 300 damage, and it will complete the challenge. Hey guys, so we're doing this uh, quest right here. This epic quest, which is to deal explosive damage to opponents. You need to deal 1000 explosive damage, which is pretty easy to do. Well, not too easy to do. Uh, what you need is either grenades, a rocket launcher, or an explosive bow. Which does this, which is the most uh, like easy method to spam this challenge. And uh, you can make this bow by making, uh, by taking a mechanical bow and six grenades. And you can craft this bow right here. So yeah, just keep spamming this in Team Rumble mode. And deal as much explosive damage as you can until you finish the quest. Hey guys, so for this epic quest, you're gonna have to do something really tough, which is to get a headshot with a bow. So just one headshot will give you 24,000 XP points. So just grab yourself a bow. This is your bow. Whatever bow just uh, counts and just try to get a headshot on someone. Which is not so easy. Damn it. I recommend you try to do this in uh, Team Rumble. Uh, because that's where you'll have the highest chance of doing this. And yeah, just keep spamming arrows <laughs> until you get a headshot. Just one headshot is enough. For this uh, week 3 epic quest, it says that you have to fly 20 meters with a chicken. So if you want to get a chicken, if you want a 100% spawn rate, just go to steel farm right here. And you'll find a chicken farm and a chicken farmer right here. So you can grab these chickens and fly with them. There it is. So 20 meters is not that long. Just three or four hops should complete the challenge. And just one more hop. And there it is. That's all you need to do. For this uh, week three epic quest, it says that you have to hunt three chickens. So if you wanna find chickens like 100% of the time, just make your way to steel farm right here. And you'll find a chicken farm and a bunch of chickens roaming. So all we have to do is just hunt three of them. So let's grab a weapon. Come back. Come back. There it is. So just hunt three of them. And that should complete the challenge. For this uh, week three epic quest, it says that you have to fly uh, to catch five fish at uh, Lake Canoe, right here, or Stealthy Stronghold, or Camp Cod. So we're gonna do this at uh, Lake Canoe because it's the easiest. I'm hearing raptor sounds. Hopefully they don't come close to us. Okay, so just grab a fishing rod. Do this even with this, it's much faster. That's one, two, three, four, and five. So, yeah, that's all you have to do, and that should complete the challenge. For this uh, week three epic quest, all you have to do is just deal 1000 damage with a shotgun. So, just grab yourself a shotgun, I preferably in uh, Team Rumble mode, this is where I am right now. And just uh, go to the zone right here and just keep dealing damage, just 1000 damage, and that should complete the challenge. For this uh, week 3 epic quest, uh, all you have to do is just get 10 headshots with a, uh, with a rifle. So as you can see, I got my rifle right now. And all you have to do is just aim for the head and just deal a headshot. So 10 headshots and that should complete the challenge. I recommend doing this in uh, Team Rumble mode. So there, it will be like, uh, there will be a lot of people like uh, at this zone right here. And you'll have many chances to get, to get a headshot. So just aim for the head 10 times and that should complete the challenge. For this week 3 epic quest, it says that you have to deal damage with a pistol or revolver within 20 meters of an opponent. So just get close to an opponent and use a pistol or revolver to deal 500 damage. So that's 5 meters. And that's 20 meters. There it is. So yeah, this is the max distance. Just play this in Team Rumble, grab a pistol or a revolver, and just keep doing damage, as 500 damage will complete the challenge. For this week 3 epic quest, it says that you have to eliminate uh, Raptor, which is this NPC right here, or Blackheart, or Zenith. 
So in this video, I'm going to show you, uh, like this is a video of me eliminating uh, all three NPCs and you can just eliminate any one of these and that should complete the challenge. NPC number uh, 46, which is the last NPC, is going to be Zenith and you're going to find them at the weather station all the way over here. And this NPC you have to fight, so bring a couple of guns. Where is he? Where'd you go? Oh, Zenith! Ah, there he is! Let's take this. There it is, got him. Ooh, he gives you a, a uh, an epic assault rifle. That's dope. So, for the next epic quest of uh, week 10, all you have to do is just shockwave a, uh, a wildlife using a shockwave grenade or a shockwave uh, bow. So you can either use this grenade right here, or you can uh, upgrade your uh, bow into a mechanical bow. And then the, from the mechanical bow, you can upgrade it into a shockwave bow using two shockwave grenades. So all you have to do is just aim for a wildlife and hop. And it's gone. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all you have to do. The next epic quest of uh, week 4, it says that you have to tame animals in different matches. So in this uh, game right now, in season 6, you can tame either raptors, uh, boars or wolves. So here's a video of me taming uh, some of them. Next wildlife that you can uh, find in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 6 is these boars right here. And because I have my hunter's cloak on me, he's not gonna attack me. And I can actually tame him if I get close, as you can see. It's pretty dope. So now I have a boar buddy with me. The next animal that you can find in uh, Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 6 are these wolves right here. And if you have a hunter, clo on, hunter cloaks on, you can actually tame one of them. And it's pretty cool. Now I have a boar and a wolf with me. For the next week for Epic Quest, it says that you have to uh, set structures on fire. So you can do that either by uh, using a gas can. So just throw the gas can and shoot it. It will explode and set things on fire. Or you can just make a uh, a fire uh, bow, primal flame bow, by combining a uh, primal bow and a uh, gas can. So let's craft that. And then you will have infinite fire ammo that will set things on fire, as you can see. It's pretty easy to do. Or if you, if you see any like fire fireflies, you can catch them in a firefly, firefly jar and just throw it at enemy structures. And uh, yeah, that's how you do it. That's three ways that you can do it. It's pretty easy to do. And all you need to do is just ignite structures on fire. I recommend doing this in uh, Team Rumble mode. If you see any structure, just set it on fire. And remember this works better on wood than uh, brick or metal. For this epic quest, all you have to do is just reboot a teammate, just like this. So just play a squad mode and whenever a teammate is down, just come here and revive them. Just press E on them and they will be revived automatically. There it is. The next epic quest for week 4, it says that you have to eliminate opponents with weapons of uh, rare rarity, rarity or higher. So the weapon has to be rare, epic or, uh, or legendary or even mythic. So as you can see, I have my epic uh, uh, rocket launcher and I have my epic uh, shockwave uh, bow. And all you have to do is just come here into Team Rumble mode and uh, try to eliminate some players. For the next epic quest of week 4, it says that you have to deal explosive damage. So 1000 explosive damage will do the quest. So to do explosive damage, all you need is just uh, either grenades, like this right here. Or a uh, rocket launcher. Or you can make like uh, a, an explosive bow. Or you can even uh, throw the gas can and make it explode, like shoot at it. Like shoot at it with something and make it explode. And that should complete the challenge. Just make sure to aim at enemies and uh, do explosive damage using either of these methods. And that should complete the challenge. For the next uh, week for Epic Quest, it says that you have to search seven chests. So this one is pretty self-exploratory. This is only for those who are uh, super new to Fortnite and don't know how to play or where to find chests. Just make your way to any PUI that you are comfortable with. So for me, it's Sweaty Sands. So just go there. And just keep looking for chests until you find seven of them. Okay, this guy is being a little bit annoying. So that's one chest. This is number two. 
The reason why I know all the spots for the chest is because I'm, uh, I always come here, so I'm, I, I'm pretty comfortable with this spot. That's three. Then we go down. And this is four. And then we go down even more. And this is five. Ooh, I like that. Actually, we can go this way. And number six is gonna be right here. And then number seven. It's gonna be over here. Here we go. And yeah, that's it. That's seven chests in one round, pretty quick. Hey guys, the next part of the video is gonna be a compilation of uh, all the Asian Jones epic quests that you're gonna unlock. These epic quests you get from the battle pass. So these are all the uh, Asian Jones uh, skins that you get. So we have the default one, the jump 15, jump 23, jump 31, jump 42, and jump 88. You can only get these quests by having the battle pass, so remember. So these are the quests right here. The last quest comes at uh, level 76. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. Let's go. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So once you hit level 14 in the new season, season six, you will unlock this backpack, the first backpack, and you will unlock a special mission with it, the Asian Josie quest, which, al which allows you to unlock the first style for Asian Josie. So we're gonna claim that. And we're gonna check out the new quest. And it's gonna be somewhere around here investigate an anomaly detected in lazy lake as you can see it will give us this uh this style so we're going to go to lazy lake and we're going to investigate that anomaly so here we are at lazy lake to investigate the anomaly and you want to come here you want to go to this house right here at the top left and just go straight inside you will find the butterfly there it is it's a rift butterfly and it's going to lead you to the anomaly just keep following it, keep following it, and it wants us wants us to go here. Here we are. Okay, so it's a puzzle. Let's activate all the jewels. So we need to hit the, the right first one. So the first one, I think it's this one. Yep, that's number one. That's number two. So, number one, number two, number three, and then this side, number four. There it is, puzzle solved. There it is, we just unlocked the second style for Asian Jonesy. Asian Jones jump 15, as you can see. So, once you hit level 28 in the battle pass, you will unlock this uh, quest right here, which is the uh, Jonesy jump 23 edit style. So, if you go to your quests, you will find it right here. Uh, where, is, where is it? There it is. Investigate an anomaly detected on Shark Island, which is right here. So we're gonna go there right now. So here we are at Shark Island, which is located right here at that spot. So in order to investigate this anom anomaly, we're gonna need a couple of mats. The anomaly is gonna be right here. So you're gonna have to follow the holograms. This first hologram wants you to emote. So we just emote. The second hologram wants you to crouch, so we crouch. And the third hologram wants you to jump, so jump. And there it is. Now you get the rift butterfly thingy. Just collect the anomaly. And that's it. We unlock the style. Now let's see, let's look at the style. There it is, beautiful. This is jump 23 Asian Jones. So, in order to unlock the Jump 31 style for Jonesy, uh, all you have to do is just go to Catty Corner right here, to this spot. So the idea is to investigate an anomaly near Catty Corner, which is uh, right here. So from what you see, I've already unlocked the skin, because I already came here before and did a video on this. So you will find a butterfly right here, at this spot, and the butterfly will lead you inside, 
and you will find this um, uh, TNT in a vault, which I've been here before, and you will find a little like butterfly inside. And uh, what you're gonna have to do is just grab one of these uh, boom gas cans or whatever you wanna call them, and just throw it inside. Uh, do I need a weapon? Let's shoot it. And yeah, once you do that, this vault will open up a little bit and you can interact with the butterfly inside. And that should complete the challenge and give you this beautiful skin right here that I'm running. For this uh, Jonesy like jump uh, quest, all you have to do is just reach level 60 and you'll unlock this quest right here, which is to investigate an anomaly detected in Stealthy Stronghold. So just make your way to Stealthy Stronghold to this uh, spot right here, right around here. And we're gonna find the anomaly. So uh, this anomaly right here is pretty pretty easy to do uh, compared to the other ones. All you have to do is just drop at this area, just where I pinged, and you will find a butterfly. There it is. So just follow the butterfly. Let's keep following it. Going around the UI. And there it is. Once you make it here, it will stop and it will make this thing. Just hit it once and you will find the interactable uh, butterfly thingy. And yeah, there it is. We unlock the new style. Let's go see what it looks like. There it is, pretty nice. We got Agent Joe's Jump 42. <laughs> we also unlocked the beanbag emote. So that's pretty cool because we did like uh, three weeks worth of epic quests and three of Jonesy's uh, like anomaly quests. So once you hit level 76, you will unlock the last Jonesy edit style uh, epic quest, as you can see. And this is the backpack that goes with it. it and uh, this is gonna be the quest right here. So let's go check it out. It says investigate an anomaly detected in Weeping Woods. So we're gonna go to Weeping Woods right here and we're gonna do that. So here we are at uh, Weeping Woods and all you have to do is just go to this Guardian Tower all the way over here. And the idea is to investigate an anomaly. So we will find a butterfly at the base of the tower that you're gonna have to follow. Also, I recommend doing this in uh, Team Rumble mode because you'll need a couple of builds. So this is the butterfly. And we're just gonna follow it. We're just gonna follow it. It's gonna take us up. And then it's gonna want you to go in the air. So as you can see. And up. Let's build this out of... Uh, <clears throat> there it is. And then interact. And that's it. That's all you need to do. And we unlock the last tile for Jonesy. So let's go check it out. There it is, finally, the last style for Agent Jones, Jump 88. So let's equip it and see what it looks like. Here it is, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. 